Right. Well, next tonight, the South London Hospital trialling pioneering virtual reality treatment to help people recover from strokes. Croydon University Hospital is studying the benefits of VR on patient rehabilitation. Well, Katie Barfield went to meet one Londoner who hopes the technology will ultimately help him marry his childhood sweetheart. Peter Critchley is 87. After a stroke, he lost all the feeling on one side of his body. I was down low with dustpan and brush sweeping, suddenly found I could not get up. And that was it. Now he's recovering thanks to something you might recognise. His rehab is playing Fruit Ninja. 195 That's an amazing score, that. Yeah. These sensors on his arms create a kind of virtual reality where he can see his own limbs moving, even if he can't feel them. I think the main thing is being able to visualize your hand. It can be a bit boring just reaching out for objects and get, you know, having the therapist move your arm, whereas if you see fruits flying around the screen uh, and trying to chop them up, it just adds the element of fun. Croydon University Hospital is the first in London to get this technology. 24 patients have tried it so far, and their doctors say they've seen big improvements. People have, um, we've noticed that our therapy times have increased actually, so people are getting more occupational therapy a day, and it just helps them, um, yeah, think that it's not therapy. I think that's the, the thing, it, it feels like playing a computer game. With this new tech, Peter is on track to finish his rehab within a month, so he can head to Australia for a very important reason. Beth and I, she's my partner, got engaged while she was over here, and uh, I'm quite sure where we're going to have the wedding, whether it will be here or there. So this is important for your for your wedding day. Yes, indeed, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I've got to get it right up there. His goal is a fit to fly certificate. No matter how many watermelons he's got to chop to get one. Katie Barnfield, ITV News. He's got to get to that wedding now. It was.